I'm going to show you how to modify a uh, sprinkler valve for use with a pneumatic air cannon. This is a jar top inline, one inch inline orbit sprinkler valve. Uh, this is model number uh, 57661. I just got this from Lowe's or Home Depot. What you'll need for this is the sprinkler valve, uh, epoxy, I'm using JB Weld, a male one quarter inch uh, thread piece and then a blow valve you just really need a blow valve I've got all this extra stuff um, and then you'll be able to make a trigger system for a pneumatic air cannon basically what you do is you take off the top here um, it's usually something like this you take this off take off the top there'll be a spring in here too um, and then where the electronic trigger normally goes you unscrew this or it might already be off and simply use a file or a Dremel and take off this little piece here once you've got that out there'll be this little hole in the middle um, and it should be almost perfect to fit a uh, one quarter inch threaded piece um, once you get it just big enough to fit it you want to um, get a uh, thread thread starter what is that called a, a bit and just thread it in and once you've got it started you cover your um, one quarter inch thread piece with uh, the epoxy and thread it in all the way I found it hard to get this in because the plastic starts covering up the little notches for the wrench so what I did is I got this T piece and just uh, screwed it in like that and just kept going until I couldn't screw it any further and then I waited for the epoxy to dry and after it dried I unscrewed the T-piece and then I waited a little longer just to make sure it's set completely and I filled in the rest of the gaps with more epoxy so you can see it's completely on there and because I didn't thread it I didn't use the tap all the way through that's what I was thinking of the tap I didn't tap it all the way through so this had to bite into the plastic and was in there very uh, firmly um, so this piece is not going anywhere basically because it's cut into the plastic and then on top of that it's completely covered in epoxy so that makes sure it's in there very well and then that's the only hard uh, modification you have to do after you've done that you uh, unscrew this manual release valve fill it with epoxy then screw it back in and then um, the only other modification is filling this hole with epoxy because the way this thing's designed it'll leak air out of that if you don't do that and that's it um, now you just assemble it uh, you can see I put um, plumber's tape on here to make sure it doesn't leak and once it's all assembled it's ready to fire all you do is you put it on your um, pneumatic valve or blow gun and it's ready to go uh, basically what I've got here this system allows me to fill it and fire it through the same opening I plug in pressurized air here the air goes in fills this chamber and then I close off the air and then I uh, once I fire the blow gun it will move the piston inside the sprinkler valve up and all the air in this chamber will exit through the barrel that's how this works basically you can make it fire using just this little blow gun and you could just use a blow gun and then like fill it through the blow gun and then after it's filled uh, you know open up the um, fill valve or whatever you use and fire it or you could have the fill valve somewhere like on the back of the chamber or you know it's pretty much up to you how are you gonna design it this orbit valve is very easy to modify and um, very cheap it's like sixteen dollars and it's uh, a lot easier to modify than other sprinkler valve systems. Uh, you know, I've never modified anything else. I was going to try modifying this Rainbird that's used, but it was really dirty and broken, so I didn't want to risk using this. But just looking at it, at the differences between the Rainbird and this Orbit, um, the Orbit, it was so easy. All I had to do was remove that little piece and screw it in, and that's basically all you do. Versus the Rainbird, you have to unscrew these six screws to open it up, 
then you'd have to close off this thing here. You'd have to get a one quarter inch drill bit to drill through the middle and then you'd have to tap that completely and then you have to screw it in and epoxy it. Basically you'd have to do a lot more work to it in order to modify it versus this where basically it's easy to open up all you do is you cut off that little piece and screw it in. There's already a hole in the middle for you to screw in the uh, male bit and then that's it. All you have to do is screw it in you know plug this little hole really easy, really easy to uh, plug and then that little hole in the front here is really easy to plug and you're done. That's all it is. Very easy to do. I've never done it before but this thing works great so far. Uh, the only thing is sprinkler systems I think they're rated for under 100 psi or at 100 psi so uh, I wouldn't use it any higher than that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I just know under 100 should be safe so I only use it around 70 or 80 psi.